Good evening, Hyperspinners. Today, we're going to be talking about the dependencies that your PC might need to get Hyperspin and others up and running, so get ready. So before we get started, I just wanted to give you guys a big thanks for watching. You know, as you see there, I've got uh, 3,900 hours. Uh, simply amazing. This has all been a... a a happy mistake if you will uh, you know an experiment for you know over the year to see how things would catch on and it does certainly look like uh, things have checked you know uh, picked up here so uh, thank you to those uh, you know 1300 subscribers and, uh, and counting and uh, you know for putting up uh, you know with these tutorials uh, I, I hope it's helping you guys and it seems that it is and I will uh, keep them coming so uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish this thing off. So uh, what today is going to be about is uh, dependencies. So, you know, whenever you install an emulator or, you know, uh, a program, uh, it will basically require some dependencies sometimes. So uh, specifically uh, DirectX and uh, you got to go hunting for the specific year uh, and particularly around PC games as well. Uh, it might require a certain DLL so uh, this is totally up to you guys and uh, you know you can do the hunting if you if you want or uh, what I've done is I've just uh, bundled up all of the DLLs that uh, my PC has and uh, you know there's nothing funny here about it uh, you know there's nothing that's gonna mess things up um, so I, I just wanted to kind of open up the uh, the zip file that I'm uploading on the FTP and kind of show you uh, what's all in here and when you just you know drag and drop the unzipped uh, files in your system 32 folder uh, you'll just hit no to you know replace any dlls that you already have uh, the mission here is just to get the dlls that you don't have to prevent any sort of errors so on the discord uh, site that i've got uh, there were a couple people that were having some errors it might have been on facebook i i can't remember but uh, they were having errors on, you know, launching a game, and it was requiring a specific version of DirectX. And every year, uh, DirectX comes out with a new version, essentially. And uh, you know, the the old legacy stuff is uh, kind of hard to find. So, uh, yeah, here we are. Um, all the DLLs. Uh, I was very specific on the files that were in here. So just. A DLL and it was being zipped up here so I'm gonna have this on the FTP you can see there's a ton of DLLs uh, any install that you end up doing will have some sort of DLL uh, associated to it and uh, yeah that, that is just what that's all about so all we've got to do is drop that in our system 32 folder so if you go to C Drive Windows system 32 and then just drop those DLL files anywhere into, uh, you know, this folder. If you're not comfortable with it, you know, by all means, uh, you know, find the installers for DirectX, etc. And, uh, you know, install them as you would anything. And uh, those files will ultimately be dropped in here. But, you know, uh, you can trust old Ninja or, uh, you know, be on your merry way. Either way, uh, I'm here to help you guys. So. Uh, what I've done is I've dropped this on the Emu Movies uh, FTP and it's under official ninjas dojo and zips and then you will find a uh, zip file uh, here let's keep me honest here there you go dlls.zip and there you have it so that is all there is to it and we'll catch you next time <laughs> 